there are thresholds that your beneficiaries fall into in categories and some categories have more taxable allowances than others such as a child of a, of a mother or father has a maximum tax threshold and then it comes down the line to brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, nieces, nephews, etc. So there's a, there's a, a few um, thresholds where uh, exemptions apply, and it's, which is where you fit into those thresholds or where the beneficiary fits into those thresholds is what's important. When the testator has, has passed away, your job as the executor is to gather in the assets of the testator and um, have a look at the will, see what the wishes were and um, make application to the probate registry to um, obtain probate for that will and then fulfil the promise or the, the wishes of the testator and the bequests that they have made in the will. If you don't have a will and you do have assets, um, one of your relatives will more than likely step forth, uh, step up and um, act as an administrator to your estate and uh, make application to uh, the probate registry for uh, letters of administration uh, with no will and your estate will be distributed in accordance with your, um, your family uh, tree. There's a, a simple form that we'd ask you to fill out uh, which generally gives us most of the information we require in relation to what assets you have, what pensions you have, what life insurance policies you have, etc. Um, we can get a will done very, very quickly depending on if there's an urgency to the situation. We've been, we've, we've been able to put wills together within a couple of hours depending on certain people's uh, circumstances.